East Harlem is an historic gateway community. The neighborhood has served as an affordable haven for generations of Jews, Italians, African Americans, and Latinos. While East Harlem today is home to people of many nationalities, its Puerto Rican cultural identity remains strong. The murals that adorn its exterior walls represent a significant part of that identity. East Harlem Preservation has long showcased the neighborhood's buildings as canvases tradition through public awareness and walking tours and working to preserve and repair endangered community art. In the spring of 2015, East Harlem Preservation restored a neighborhood mural honoring Puerto Rican political prisoner Oscar Lopez Rivera. Located on East 107th Street between Lexington and 3rd Avenue, the mural was created in 2010 by members of the National Boricua Human Rights Network. The original mural paid tribute to two Puerto Rican political prisoners, Oscar Lopez Rivera and Avelino Gonzalez Claudio. With support from the Historic Districts Council, East Harlem Preservation Commission local artists Natalie Zed Villal, Martalicia Matarita, and Zen Medina to reimagine the badly weathered and vandalized mural. Since Avelino Gonzalez Claudio was released in February 2013, the mural artist decided to reimagine the original concept and focus on Oscar Lopez Rivera, the last Puerto Rican political prisoner in the United States. Oscar Lopez Rivera is now 72 years old. 34 of those years he has spent in prison and 12 of them in solitary confinement. Because he often speaks about his desire to return to his homeland to walk along the seashore, the artists incorporated Oscar's wishes into their design. East Harlem Preservation launched the initiative with a live art fundraiser held at the iconic East Harlem Cafe on April 30th. We're planning to definitely represent his image realistically so everyone can see what he looks like and incorporate some things that he writes about and talks about and feels strongly about. Um, some imagery and probably something, you know, representing the pride of Puerto Rico. Oh, well, I was actually one of the artists in the original painting that is being restored. Um, so when I saw that they were doing a campaign to restore it, I decided you know, I wanted to be a part of that. Well, at the time, that was in 2010, I believe, um, we were really trying to make the campaign to feel stuff, make it like um, grow in New York City and kind of expand it. And so we decided that doing a mural will not only be good to bring attention from regular people that just pass by, but also it's a tradition in East Harlem to do murals about different things going back and we felt that there weren't any new political murals. I'm here to be part of this event to raise funds, to repair and restore, and in fact, to do a brand new mural for Oscar Lopez. Um, this is 34th year incarcerated, and Oscar Lopez is an innocent man. Oscar Lopez is our hero. Oscar Lopez needs to be free, and this mural is going to bring more attention. Murals also, it's, it's a community mural. The last time we did it, we had people from the community passing by, helping us out. We taught a lot of people, you know, about Oscar Lopez that did not know anything about Oscar Lopez or were even under a misconception of Oscar Lopez and who he was. Uh, we had people come by and call him all kinds of stuff, and we had people that praised him. Just, we, we educated people while we were there, and it's what's good to have a little army of people there at the same time to talk to people as they come by. And, and I plan on having the same atmosphere the second time around. And I plan on uh, making this with my crew, like Natalie, who's sitting here, and Marta Alicia and Calito. We want to make it a really beautiful something that's going to stand out bright, beautiful, and something that hopefully will last longer than the one we did last time in 2010. And, um, and I want to thank everybody that came out and supported and helped out and bought raffle tickets and just came out to support us, and I want to thank them as well. I'm so glad that I chose the best artist to work with me. <laughs> oh man, it looks great, man. It looks absolutely fantastic. I was fantastic. so scared that it wouldn't, you know, match or nothing. No, I, I was no, a little it looks good, it looks good. Look at the way the water is. Sister worked on that, right? Yeah, they, that's, 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 yeah. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna throw some clouds in the clouds. They're gonna have the, the, the faces of, uh, uh, you know, Lolita. Oh, really? Don Don't bathe I'm gonna try to like add them. I wanna make it look that like when you look so it up in the clouds, cool. you, you see something. So it's not gonna look like it. You have to really look, I want it to look it. 
look at it and have to really search for them. I don't want them to be seen like that. So it's like a subliminal. Yeah, I did it with my Lolita. If you look at the Lolita, you can find some other pieces. Other you can find in, in the there. clouds. If you go on the go online, look at my Lolita, look in the clouds, and you'll find a Meteorio Betances looking at the island with her. If you look carefully, but if you don't look carefully, you won't see it. Oh, so I'm gonna leave the, the clothing this way. So if you, I don't know the type of clothing you wanted. I want it. Whatever. I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm gonna do a picture. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Well, and uh, it's a guayabera. Guayabera has the four pockets. Yes, of course. Uh, the, the Dominican, yeah. right? The Dominican is called a chacabana. Okay. There you go. Same thing. So and in Guyana, they call them shirt jacks. <laughs> I, there is no need for none of that stuff. No. My name is Malta Alicia. I'm from Harlem. I'm so happy to be a part of the project. There's so many things I wanted to do uh, in my community, and one of the best ways to give back is through education, historical value, and to honor someone who fought for education for the children as well in Puerto Rico and here. And it's amazing how he advocated that. And you know, and being himself also being a public public school system and education is something that is extremely powerful because I will admit I was a bit ignorant in the learning of history and I was re-educated or reintroduced to all these political heroes that people don't really know how to put in place in their own lifestyle knowing that all these people did lay the bricks for them or for us so doing something like this is very uh, rejuvenating in many many levels and um, beyond words I can say I'm honored yeah you know feel free to uh, jump into I don't even show. know I'm, I don't even know what to do I'm so I'm so Have overwhelmed fun with it, this with is it. fabulous this is really this great. is very nice this is more than I expected I, when you said you were working in the phase and I thought you might even have the outline. I wasn't sure what time you guys got here. Actually, Natalie was such a wonderful uh, help, actually. She came in, she mapped everything, she outlined for me the, where the head belongs. This is equally as important as to like, yeah. and yeah. she did it perfectly. I want it to be a little bit bigger, but and I want to see, but it looks like she evened it very well, because at least you get to play with the sky more. Yeah, yeah. And that's a healthy balance. And then balance. This, room, this room to put information. For, yes. Oh, and, maybe a scroll yeah. with his, his background. Or we can, you know. Now, I chose this blue. I, took, I walked out of the store with, uh, what do you call this, watches though. Yeah. And I, I took a bunch of them, different blues. And I, it was one of those days when the, the clouds were there, but they didn't dominate the way they do now. So you could see the real blue. Oh, Un yeah. you know, so if it's light blue, that really baby powder blue is because the clouds are still... There's a haze of it. There was no haze at all. And I look at it, holding each one. No. <laughs> then I got I one that matched. In fact, that. I have it right here. I remember him doing that. <laughs> I have it right here. You see what I'm talking about. He was telling me that. Look, see? The That's a swatch. You see the sky? I see. I see. So right now, it looks extremely dark in comparison. So when the sun But when the sun, the sun goes this it's way. It's kind of blended. When the sun goes this see, way, I promise you, on a clear day, scientist. we're going to have it look like it's continuing onto the sky. Oh, hell, genius. Well, don't, don't praise it yet until it works. <laughs> I, I, I like it though. It makes sense, you know, scientifically, you know. Yeah. East Harlem is the Puerto Rican enclave of New York City. Port East Harlem is the heart <clears throat> of New York City. East Harlem here in this, in this city is where these former prisoners who are now free come to, to stay in people's houses and this is the neighborhood where the salsa that we, we, we you know, the, the, the rhythms that came from Afro-Cuba flourish in this neighborhood. Culture flourished in this neighborhood. The murals in this neighborhood, there's a mural on 103rd or 104th. That's a classic mural that takes up an entire building. Still there. Uh, Yasmin Hernandez has one in the garden, the Modesto Garden. The tradition of murals, the tradition of art, especially for the Puerto Rican community, is right here in this neighborhood. I, I helped Jasmine's uh, Julia de Burgos and Frida. Those uh, I, I helped her with that. I did. I helped the restoration of the 105th Che Albizu mural, and uh, I was part of this mural. I spearheaded this mural back in 2010. Um, for this for this neighborhood, that's my contrib contribution. I, I hope to do more. How, how can I how can I be as heroic as people like Oscar? It's just you know, it's 
the only thing I can give is my talents, any, any talent that I have. It is the, I think it's the duty of any artist, whether you're a musician, singer, a poet, or any, to, to be into these arts and not be, not keep abreast of what's happening in the world and then speak on it. It's just, to me, it's, it's, it's a crime. Silence in itself is a crime. And I feel that as an artist and a musician, I have to speak up and I have to speak up through my work. A lot of my work is political and um, what better way through art, throughout the years, artists have always yeah, depicted politics throughout the years. Throughout the years, artists have been some of the people who, when there's no photographer to take a picture of something that happened, it's the artist who draws what happened. That's throughout history and it still continues today. So this is, this is the job of an artist to do this. If I could speak to Oscar, I, I hope that I'm doing justice to his, his, uh, his, his wall here and that I'd like to meet him and I'd like to, him to come home and I want to thank him for making us all proud. Um, Oscar is a person who represents Puerto Ricanidad more than, than you know, to think that these are the... Oscar is what, um, in any country, in any other country, Oscar would be a hero. There'll be statues of Oscar in any other country. It's not like that in Puerto Rico because it is a colony of the U.S. And he's not going to get one here because of the fact that the U.S. is against his cause because the U.S. is the perpetrator of, of uh, the colonization. So if Oscar, were, if, if Oscar were Cuban, if Oscar were Russian, if Oscar were anyone else, he'd, they'd, he'd be in all the history books, he'd be, there'd be statues in his name, there'd be libraries and etc. You know what I mean? Obviously there are things in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, you know, dedicated to Oscar, but because of the, the island he comes from and because of the political situation, he is pointed out as a criminal, cast as a criminal, cast as, a, as a, an, evil, an evil person, even in his hearing. Zen Medina, right here in New York City, in El Barrio, next to a masterpiece by my sister Marta Alicia Matari. And of course, my sister Natalie, as you can see, is working with the water. I did the easy part, the sky. I kind of copped out and, and picked the easiest stuff. And uh, I'm very proud to be working with two fantastic, I'm glad I picked these sisters because they are phenomenal, as you can see. This was just something they whipped up in a couple of hours time so that I could come here and continue. And look at this, this is fabulous and I'm, I'm happy. Uh, but I picked two of the best artists that I've seen. Natalie, this work I've seen through Facebook. And I eventually became a customer of hers. I bought a piece that now hangs in my living room. And Marta Alicia, very soon I will be buying something from her also. These, these sisters really know how to throw down. And I figured if I'm gonna work with anybody, I'd be proud to work with them. And if I'm gonna learn from anybody, who are better to learn from than these two sisters? Um, I was asked by Zen Medina. Uh, he's a he's a friend of he's a mutual friend of some of my friends. And uh, he had you know been seeing some of my artwork and asked me if I would like to be down. Offered me some more education on Oscar Lopez, and I thought it was really exciting to participate. Then um, he said he would be interested in me collabing with him and Martha Alicia, who I was very excited to work with. Because I'm, I've painted with her, but it was more of a social. Um, she's great. She's she's very talented and very experienced at uh, painting murals. Very lovely person also, but it's nice to, because my experience is not really in mural painting, it's more so in illustration stuff or smaller paintings, uh, mm -hmm. it's nice to be able to learn from her and observe. It's a scattered uh, background, but um, I, 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 uh, I went to college for art history, but um, I've always, you know, created on my own whether or not I was paid to you know it's just been a compulsion of mine so uh, you know in the past few years I've been trying to channel it more and you know I'm happy to collaborate with others I'm normally just you know in my own creative bubble but it's definitely a great experience to have um, 
you know, greater purpose behind the art and also, um, you know, mix it up with education. So I'm excited to be able to do that. It's um, something that I'm proud to do because uh, my mother is Puerto Rican. She's very, she's a very proud Puerto Rican woman. And you know, I thought that it would make her happy, you know? <laughs> and um, you know, I need to know more about my, my history. So it's a good opportunity for me to, to learn more and to, to use my artistic abilities in a positive way. I'm getting to, you know, talk to people who are actually educating me, you know, more about what I'm what I'm doing, people walking by and recognizing, you know, and uh, knowing facts that I didn't know. So, so um, you know, it's exciting to be able to, to learn more and then be able to tell people also who walk by who it is and like spreading the word about something important you know there's been a few people when Martha Alicia and I were here the other day there were definitely a few people that were saying you know thanks for you know it's adding some some beauty to the neighborhood there there was the mural here before but this one I think we're trying to go a little bit bigger more colorful and so you know that's nice I mean it's a very historic neighborhood so it's good to to um to be a part of other art that's in this neighborhood well i think more of the older people you know recognize him um i think that and then you know ha it's a little bit half and half mm -hmm. but you know people are people are interested in that kind of thing and you know when you have a powerful image it's a good way to tell a story and to to use it as a vessel to um, to inform people. So I'm trying to uh, give him a beautiful red guayabera because I'm tired of seeing him in his prison outfit and I know that we're soon going to see him. I feel in my bones that we're going to see him in either a white guayabera or a red guayabera or a blue guayabera but bottom line is he's no longer be wearing that damn khaki uniform that I see him that reminds me every time where he is. He's going to be wearing a free man's clothes and uh, that's what I I'm doing here. While there exist challenges, there is life. And as a consequence, we can be creative even in the urns of hell. This is what we're going to put here because right, it, 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 it strikes a chord with all of us, right? Feelings of hopelessness, which, which will draw the passerbys to say, hey, sometimes I feel like I'm in the urns of hell. Even though I'm not, it would be worse to be in prison. But it's relatable which is really what a piece of art needs to be to reach a lot of people. Am I right? Exactly. The first time we came here and we did this, we were called by the cops three times. Twice in one day and then another time. We were also stopped by people in the neighborhood. Yeah, some even people yelled from the windows a few things that they didn't want us, you know. At the same time, people would come by and ask questions and sometimes in asking those questions, people would be very uh, 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 against us, people would be very like, you know, adverse to what we're doing here. Now, fast forward to four and a half years later, there's nothing but support. You can ask Natalie, nothing but support. In fact, to the point of which even the vacant lot over here is allowing us to use their storage to put our paints and of course we don't have to lug it back and forth to wherever it is we live. And people come by and no longer are asking as much. Some do, but they're not asking as much. What they're actually saying is, we hope that Oscar becomes free. That's Oscar Lopez up there. Oh yeah, where's the other guy? Yeah, yeah. The yeah, everybody is on board now. And it goes to show that we bring things to attention and people learn that way. Because now this neighborhood knows what it did not know, or what some did not know back in 2010. Seis de enero, día de reyes, nacimiento singular. Oscar López por primera vez hinchaba sus pulmones con vientos de libertad. Criado entre dos culturas y obligado fue a sangrar. Y al volver de aquella selva decidió que por su patria debería de luchar y luchar y lu Y se disparó el primer cañón, fuego que dio forma a su condición De soldado fiel ante su deber fiera que traerá el nuevo amanecer Todo por amor todo por verdad, todo por el sueño de la libertad, por 
su sacrificio, por su humanidad. Ahora es nuestro turno de por él luchar. Tráelo a casa ya. Apresado fue el poeta, cargos de conspiración. Fue lanzado en un vacío, pero el brío de su alma, el silencio no cayó. Y ya van más de 30 años, y el implacable al conjugar, dando cátedra a un imperio que justifica mentiras, condenando la verdad. Y se disparó el primer cañón, fuego que dio forma a la condición. Ejército fiel ante el deber, con el puño en alto por Borinquen. Todo por amor, todo por verdad, todo por el sueño de la libertad. Por su sacrificio, por su humanidad, ahora es nuestro turno de por él luchar. Tráelo a casa ya. Por su sacrificio, por su humanidad, ahora es nuestro turno de por él luchar. Todo por amor, todo por verdad, todo por el sueño de la libertad. Por su sacrificio, por su humanidad, ahora es nuestro turno. De por él luchar, de por él luchar, de por él luchar. Traigo a casa ya, traigo a casa, traigo a casa ya.